The Casabon Art Exhibition has officially been launched at the Diplomatic Center. On Saturday night during a gala function, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley urged the public to come to the gallery to see the paintings, which he said captured important elements of our history. Peter Christopher has more. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said he felt the need to purchase the Casabon paintings based on the history they present. The government spent $1.9 million on 10 paintings following an auction in London late in 2015. 49 of Casabon's paintings are on display at the exhibition. Dr. Rowley said these paintings provided a crucial portrayal of Trinidad and Tobago during the late days of slavery and early days of emancipation. 18th century Casabon is to be embraced in a similar way by our people. But most importantly, our children need to know the history of the era and know what the works represent. And I must tell you, as you view the works, I don't know what's on display because I have not actually seen the works since they've been framed. And I'm not sure what Mr. McLean and his team put up there, so I'm anxiously waiting to go and see them. Dr. Rowley recalled that he first learned of Michel Jacques Casabon while traveling Europe as a student. He said the history in the paintings could give the country necessary perspective. If there is, and I suspect that in some quarters there are, some sense of hopelessness in Trinidad and Tobago, or that we don't know where we are going, or that things are so difficult now we'll never come out of it. When you look at those paintings to see where we have come from in this country, to where we are, you might be able to come to the conclusion that we've made tremendous progress from Casabon's days to where we are now and the future is bright. Minister of Culture Dr. Nyan Gatsby Dolly also urged citizens to look for the deeper meaning within the paintings. These paintings are part of our cultural heritage and as such are critical to our understanding of ourselves. We invite all who come to look closely at the paintings. Look under the surface of what you see. What else is the artist telling us? Aside from the paintings, those gathered at the Diplomatic Center in St. Anne's were serenaded by the talents of the National Steel Symphony Orchestra. The Casabon Art Exhibition will be open to the public from Tuesday. The exhibition will run until Republic Day, September 24th. The exhibition is free to the public. Peter Christopher. See news.